Hey everybody, Andy Waddell with Form Films and welcome to Grade in 10. So today I wanna to show you my process to grade a clip when you're working in a project where you can't change the color science to color managed and there's already been a ton of work done but you have a ton of work left to do. You don't have time to manually dial in that first node to get everything kind of zeroed out. So you're gonna use a LUT. So let's get started. All right, so here's our shot. This gentleman is sitting in the campus of this school and we're going to use a LUT to bring it up to our starting point and then we'll start playing with uh, other fine details of the correction and then the grade on top of that. So let's get going. To begin, I'm getting better about doing this out of the gate now. I'm gonna do just a touch of denoise. Doesn't need much. It was shot outdoors, probably ISO 200, but I want to give it just a touch of love on the denoise, just in case. All right, first of all, this was shot on a Blackmagic Pocket uh, 6K, I believe. Um, but we're going to use the Gen 5 Film to Extended Video LUT. That's going to be our first step. Boom. Okay, just for kicks, let's uh, audition the other one. Black Magic, film the video, non-extended. Ooh, I kinda like non-extended. Let's start there. Okay, so this shot, you know, it's it's a it's a beautiful shot. I mean, this guy's, you know, suit is uh, popping, the background's nicely balanced, good framing, loving this architecture on the left. Um, loving the overcast day, so we're getting a, a just a nice soft, um, you know, God soft box, essentially. So let's start with uh, exposure and go from there. Watching my scopes, I'm going to barely adjust anything here. It's such a well shot shot. It's a well shot shot, um, but it's just so well captured. Um, there's not a lot to do. I just want to play with getting my tops and tails in terms of the Highlights and shadows kind of dialed in just a little more. Okay. Now, primaries. Again, doesn't need much, but I do want to pull the blues back a little, I think. They're just a, they're just a touch higher on the on the highlights up here. And I want to kind of balance that just a bit. So turning that off and then back on, you can see what it did. It's, it's really, it's pulling um, the blue out of the sky. It's a little bit wider, maybe a little green even, but I'm liking how it has kind of a blue haze without it. And now with it, it kind of pulls a little bit of a warmth and an organic greenness back into the grass and trees. Um, I'm gonna pull it back ever so slightly to center just to get rid of that green in the sky. And we'll deset the sky too. I'm not gonna do a sky replace, I'll leave it cloudy, but I might do a deset on it. Okay, next up, let's just kind of globally do a little bit of saturation bump here. Nice, okay, I'm loving these colors, these yellows over here on this archway, really pretty. All right, we're gonna work on him. Let's do, um, skin node let's do a shirt can't even spell and let's do his jacket all right starting with skin going to the qualifier 3d qualifier here we go let's grab his face Not too worried about this similar skin tone over here or over here getting captured in this because I'm pretty much going to mask him off. And a lot of it will clean out with the clip black. Got to be careful not to absorb his eyes on this. Okay, so also on the skin node, I'm going to drop, it sounds gross, skin. 
I'm going to drop on color compressor. I'm going to grab what I want his skin tone to be because he's got some variation. Tones floating around quite a bit just with reflections and just the way the sun's bouncing on things. It's a lot more purple down here. So we're going to try to bring him closer to that. So I'm just going to compress the hue and the saturation a little bit. And then flipping to our Vectora scope. You can actually see as I pull the color hue compression down, you can see how wide, I know it's tiny, I'm sorry, but you can see how wide it gets. Then as I raise this, it tightens up. So what we wanna do is not overdo it. And then I'm gonna use my offset wheel right here. And I'm just gonna pull the skin tone back over a little bit, lay it right on that line, just to the right of that line. And then within the context of the shot, when I unsolo this, we'll see how far I need to push it or not. Okay, so I'm gonna disable the node. Okay, yep, he's a little more pale and a little blotchy from all the reflections and the different colors hitting his face. And now we're going to tighten his skin tone like that. Like that, like that, I like that, like that. Okay, I'm gonna punch the sat up just a little bit, make him a little bit warmer. Okay, let's talk shirt. Back to the 3D qualifier. Just gonna grab this white right there. It's also gonna get the white of his tie, which is fine, a little bit of white in there. Not too worried about that. And uh, frankly, you know, any of this white down in here is gonna bother me if it hits some of that as well. Because I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I'm just gonna, gonna desat it a little bit. Then actually, you know what? Actually, that yeah. Actually, I don't want it to touch that. So let me just mask it real quick. All right, he's not moving. He's just talking. Interview. That right there is going to take care of business. So if I turn it off and on, it's very subtle, but it is desaturated. Actually, you can tell there it's got a lot more blue in it. And now I'm going to pull it back to a straight white. So looking good, my man. Let's do this one. Jumping over to color space. I'm gonna put this jacket node in the lab CIE color space. Um, this is gonna be fun. Let's grab the jacket. Okay. So I'm actually gonna grab it on this side. Okay. We'll definitely be masking him to avoid catching this stuff over here. And I want to try to get this as clean as I can, or, or just holistically as I can, um, because this, um, oh, that tie, I hope that tie didn't give me an issue. E we'll see. Okay. Um, yeah, so the way this color space works is different than RGB, and um, we're going to have some fun. Jacket purple, teal, cool stuff. Sometimes, depending on what the context of the shot is, I just I like to play with the lab color space for this stuff more than RGB because it's just a, a, a if you need to shift it, it's just a cleaner shift. I feel like. Okay, so now let's let's play. So we're gonna push green. We're gonna make it purple. It's awesome. Now you can see where I've lost a little bit right here on his shoulder where my key is not perfect, but we're not actually gonna push it to be purple. I just love how, look at that. Oh, that's actually, nice. that's a nice color. It's kind of a muted purple. All right, let's, um, yeah, let's just pull it and make it a little bluer. There we go. Okay, disable, enable. This is very subtle, but it, it's a little more muted here. I'm just gonna pop it a little bit more there. Um, I'm gonna jump back to his skin real quick. I actually wanna come in here Maybe play with putting a little more contrast in his face. Yeah, I like that. Just to help bring out a little more of the shape of the you know wrinkles and the cheeks and all that. Just kind of make that pop a little more. Okay, now let's tackle the greens, all the trees and bushes and such. Yeah. 
is clearly uh, shot in the fall because there is a lot of mixed color in those trees. Um, I'm going to try to as much of that stuff as I can. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Blur it out a little bit, denoise it a little bit. Thicken it up with some white clip and clean white. Okay, not bad. All right, so now what I want to do is just play with maybe pulling some of the reds out of the shadows on the trees. Um, so I, don't, I want to pull some of the, the fall out of it. Actually, sorry, I said shadows. I meant more like reds. So I'm going to bring it in there. And then I'm going to push a little more green up into it. Make it a little more greeny. Let's go green. There we go, just a little more of that. And I'm gonna pump the saturation up about to about 60. Yeah, nice, okay, so killing that. A little more fall, muted, a little more meh. Boom, making that junk sing, let's go. Um, all right, well, uh, let's look at the sky. So, what are we gonna do with the sky? Let me just 3D key it. Super crisp, although I'm getting a lot down here, but I might actually, well, I can mask it, I guess. Let me just do that. All right, and now I'm gonna just desaturate it at about 20, make it really, 15, make it, make it just really white and cloudy. So I'll pull some of the blues out. All right, now coming down to the end of the chain, dropping on. You know it. It's your favorite little de uh, little uh, I start to say desat brain fart. Um, gosh, I cannot type sharpening. So I'm gonna pull the radius down just a little bit, tighten that up. Um, and then after sky, kind of want to play with. Let's try some. This may not work. I may delete this. Let's see if I can grab these rocks and what this looks like. It would be fun grab all of the concrete um, to have our way with it in the color whale in the color way all right tightening that up we'll see again I haven't done this I don't know if this is gonna be weird or not but might be cool might yield some cool results. Roll it way past what you want and then just pull it back to where you need to be. That's the best way to see what's going on. All right, just for kicks, let's see what we've got here. If I, if I can pull some contrast in on those rocks, that's kind of nice, actually. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So I am going to pull just pull down the shadows here just a little bit. It's kind of interesting. I like saturate that slot out of this. Yeah, it's like crazy. Kind of like pulling that back a little bit. Might even roll some more shadow fall off right here. Um, very cool. Eh, interesting. I don't know. I'm not sure I like it. We'll kill it. That was an experiment. It's the best way to figure out what you like. Just uh, try stuff. Delete it. It's a great thing about node structure. Um, okay, I'm going to finally, let's just pull his um, skin back a little bit. I might have got a little overzealous with that. Uh, and then before sharpening, I'm going to drop a lab node, put this in lab color space, and then roll my shadows down. Let's see about negative five, maybe negative three. Okay, disable, enable. Okay, so there's just still was just kind of a red orange kind of sunshine haze over the whole thing and now when i enable this pow it really pops pulls those uh all this concrete back here back into uh, into its own place it helps him separate off of it so um yeah kind of digging that let's walk it through all right little denoise 
uh, followed by our LUT. So that is bringing it to um, pretty much just a great zeroed out starting point. Um, next up, exposure, kaboom, just little minute changes, just a little bit of low, uh, dropping some of the shadows, pushing the you know, mid highs up a tad. Okay, rolling the primaries over just to warm it up just a touch. Even out our uh, eyes up here. All right, saturation overall on the image just to push everything up a little bit. And then we have him. Kaboom. So making him pop. There's it on, off, on. Got his skin, his shirt, and his jacket all isolated and jamming, if I do say so. Uh, green's going to make these pop, right? So we're pulling some of the red out of the low mids, pushing some green in the high mids, pushing saturation a little bit, make it feel a little more springy. Not going to worry about these little red leaves back here. Not, not worried about them at all. Uh, our sky, just kind of desat that a little bit. It's very subtle. Um, the lab CIE node, boom, tightening up that low end, pulling a little more separation overall, and then finally sharpening for the win. So there it is. Behold the graded image. Whew. All right. Hope that was helpful. I hope that maybe gives you an idea about how to approach your own grades. Um, again, putting guardrails around your time, keep it at about 10, 12 minutes at a grade per shot helps you move through a project quickly, especially if you got a lot of them to do in a day and the grade won't be perfect. It might be perfect, but it probably won't be perfect. Um, but you can come back the next day and tweak it and the next day and tweak it. But it gives you a solid, presentable image to send your client to get the ball moving toward wrapping the project. So please don't forget to hit the like, subscribes, uh, flip the switches, ding the bells, dial all the dials and uh, give us a follow and a comment. And um, yeah, come back next time for another fun grade in 10. Kaboom. Bye.